It wasn't supposed to fly this way. It wasn't supposed to turn this sharply, or fire this fast, or think this intelligently. But during a classified test over the Pacific, America's sixth generation fighter did something that broke every rule of modern air combat, shocking even the pilots who built it. This is the moment the future of warfare changed forever. In the silent pre-dawn skies over Edwards Air Force Base, a shape emerges, almost invisible to radar and nearly invisible to the human eye. This aircraft isn't part of any known fighter program. It's not an F-22, not an F-35, and not a next generation upgrade. This is America's sixth generation air dominance fighter, a platform designed in secrecy, tested in darkness, and built to dominate a world where hypersonic missiles, AI-driven drones, and space-based sensors create a battlefield unlike anything pilots have ever seen. In a test that stunned Pentagon officials, this jet executed maneuvers once considered impossible. It performed coordinated actions with AI-powered drones, flew sustained high-G turns using adaptive engines, and struck targets before those targets knew they were being tracked. This is an evolution. This is revolution. And today, we reveal exactly how it happened. Intro. The maneuver that shouldn't be possible. Narrator. Calm authoritative. In late autumn, at a classified test range deep in the Nevada desert, a maneuver was executed that no fighter pilot alive believed was possible. A single aircraft, an aircraft so secret it does not officially exist, performed an air combat auction that violated every aerodynamic principle, every pilot training doctrine, and every tactical assumption of the last 60 years. For the observers watching from the Pentagon's secure telemetry room, the moment was not simply surprising. It was paradigm shattering. This is the story of how America's sixth generation air dominance fighter broke the rules of air combat and redefined the future of warfare in a single eight second maneuver. Chapter one, the race for air dominance. No nation on earth can maintain global influence without air superiority. For over four decades, the United States has held this advantage through a combination of stealth, sensors, pilot training, and technological leaps that reshaped warfare. The F-117A ushered in stealth. The F-22 redefined maneuver dominance. The F-35 reinvented networked warfare. But by the mid-2010s, it was clear, fifth-generation technology was no longer enough. China accelerated its J-20 program, Russia pushed Su-57 prototypes, global air defenses became denser, smarter, and deadlier. The Pentagon recognized a hard truth. The next war would require an entirely new kind of aircraft, one that could outthink, outmaneuver, and outfight anything in the sky. Thus began the development of a weapon system known only by a code name, NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance. A fighter built not for today's battlefield, but for the battlefield of 2035, 2040, and beyond. Chapter 2. The Airframe That Shouldn't Exist The 6th Gen fighter was engineered around three uncompromising goals. 1. Limitless Situational Awareness through sensors that create a real-time digital map of the battle space. Two, dominance at long range and close in fight through adaptive engines, impossible thrust control, and AI-driven flight. Three, unmatched survivability inside contested airspace through a blend of stealth, electronic warfare, and onboard decision-making. For decades, fighter design was an optimization game. You sacrifice turn capability for stealth. You sacrifice speed for range. You sacrifice maneuverability for weapons load. The 6th Gen fighter breaks every one of those trade-offs because it does not fly like a traditional jet. It does not fight like one. And as the world learned in one test flight, it does not obey the same rules. Chapter three, the test range. The location was known internally as R-52, a remote, heavily restricted section of airspace used for the most sensitive test operations in the United States. At 0140 hours, under a moonless sky, the 6th gen prototype, call sign Falcon Zero, taxied to runway position. 
Unlike the F-22 or F-35, Falcon Zero emitted almost no spectral signature. Its body temperature was actively managed. Its radar profile was mathematically engineered to appear like a drifting bird. From the ground, the aircraft simply vanished. But this test was not about stealth. It was about maneuver dominance in a future air war. Waiting for Falcon Zero in the sky was an autonomous threat drone designed to simulate a near-peer adversary's air combat profile, aggressive, precise, unpredictable. The goal was simple. Record how the NGAD fighter reacts to a high-G threat environment. No one was prepared for what happened next. Chapter 4. The Engagement At 29,000 feet, the test drone locked onto Falcon Zero using long-range optical tracking. The drone dove, accelerating past Mach 1.2, aiming for a merge, the moment when two fighters cross paths at blinding speed. Normally, a pilot will evade by rolling, diving, or pitching away. This is where geometry, inertia, and physics dictate human limits. But Falcon Zero's maneuver was something else. It did not evade. It reversed direction mid-air. Let's analyze what happened. Chapter 5. The Impossible Maneuver In high-speed air combat, no aircraft can instantaneously reverse. To change direction, you must bleed energy, trade altitude, or perform a wide radius turn. What Falcon Zero did was different. Using an integrated system of adoptive cycle engines, shifting power between thrust modes, fluidic thrust vectoring, manipulating airflow instead of mechanical nozzles, AI-controlled microcontrol surfaces too fast for humans to operate, instantaneous G-load redistribution, preventing structural damage, Falcon Zero executed a maneuver test engineers later called the zero-degree reversal, a maneuver no human pilot could ever physically command or survive without AI assistance. The aircraft effectively pivoted on its axis, rotating 110 degrees without losing forward velocity, then accelerated back toward the incoming drone, in eight seconds, the hunter became the hunted. Inside the Pentagon's secure observation room, analysts froze. The telemetry did not make sense. The data looked corrupted. Aircraft are not supposed to move like this. Not with current physics. Not with current aerodynamics. But Falcon Zero had just rewritten the rulebook. Chapter 6. Why this maneuver changes everything. To understand the significance, we must understand the four pillars of modern air combat. 1. Energy management. Traditionally, the fighter with superior energy, speed, and altitude wins. Falcon Zero's maneuver violated that assumption by redirecting energy instead of losing it. 2. G-force limits. Human pilots black out around 9 Gs. Modern jets are limited by what humans can survive. Falcon Zero uses AI control and pilot load distribution systems, allowing safe operation beyond human G-tolerance envelopes. 3. Predictability of movement. Enemy missiles and fighters rely on predicting future aircraft positions. Falcon Zero's maneuver eliminated predictability. It moved in a way no model, radar, or tracking algorithm could anticipate. 4. Reaction time. Humans think in tenths of a second. AI thinks in microseconds. During the maneuver, the onboard AI processed sensor fusion, thrust distribution, surface adjustments, enemy trajectory, power management in one three hundredth of a second. This is not a human reaction. This is machine dominance. Chapter 7. Pentagon Reaction Inside a secured Pentagon test center, senior officers watched the footage three times before speaking. Even then, there was silence. One general finally broke it. Gentlemen, this is not an aircraft. This is a species-level shift. The maneuver proved. Six-gen fighters can outmaneuver hypersonic threats. Missile evasion strategies must be rewritten. Dogfighting, thought to be obsolete, may return in new form. AI and human pilots must cooperate, not compete. Adversary jets like J-20 and Su-57 are effectively 20 years behind. For decades, air dominance was about stealth and beyond visual range weapons. 
But this, this was something entirely new. A machine that understood air combat better than the humans who designed it. Chapter 8. Beyond Human Limits The pilots of the future will not merely fly, they will supervise. The 6th Gen cockpit is engineered around human AI teaming. The AI handles micromaneuvers, defensive actions, evasion, engine control. The human focuses on mission direction, target priorities, and judgment. This changes everything. Past fighters required superhuman reflexes. Now, even average pilots can command elite-level performance with AI augmentation. This democratizes air superiority. But there is a deeper truth. The sixth-gen fighter is not bound by human weakness. It does not fear blackout. It does not hesitate. It does not panic. It does not get tired. In the air, a machine without fear is an apex predator. Chapter 9. The Loyal Wingman Falcon Zero doesn't fight alone. It commands a fleet of autonomous drones known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA. Reconnaissance drones, electronic attack drones, missile carriers, decoys, autonomous dogfighters. In the test, observers noted that three drones shifted position automatically during the zero-degree reversal. They had not been commanded manually. They responded instinctively, like wolves adjusting formation around their leader. This creates a new kind of air force. One pilot, six aircraft, one mind. Adversaries will face not one jet, but an entire ecosystem. Chapter 10. Why China and Russia are concerned. China's J-20 and Russia's Su-57 are impressive platforms, but they rely on legacy doctrines. They assume human G-limits, predictable aircraft geometry, traditional turn envelopes, energy bleed during sudden maneuvers. Falcon Zero violates every one of those assumptions. China is developing AI co-pilots. Russia is exploring thrust vectoring. But neither nation has demonstrated anything close to the zero-degree reversal maneuver. Not publicly, not leaked, not rumored. This puts the United States far ahead in the race for 2035 air dominance. And adversaries know it. Chapter 11. The Second Test. Classified. What happened next is still partly redacted. But we know this much. During a follow-on test 11 days later, Falcon Zero executed a maneuver even more shocking, something analysts describe as a kinetic displacement drop, where the aircraft falls vertically, then reclaims lift without losing control, a move previously only seen in computer simulations, never in real life. Telemetric data from that test remains classified, but one internal memo leaked from a defense contractor reads, this aircraft is no longer constrained by conventional aerodynamics. We are approaching the edge of what air itself can allow. Chapter 12. The Future of Air Warfare The 6th Gen Fighter gives the United States four decisive advantages. 1. Near-perfect situational awareness. AI fusion creates a battle space picture superior to any pilot alone. 2. Machine-level evasion missile lock becomes almost irrelevant. 3. Swarm weaponization. Dozens of drones respond to the fighter's intent. 4. Dominance in close and long range. The first aircraft to master both in 70 years. The Pentagon now believes that the next war, if it occurs, will be decided in the first hours, not the first days. And the 6th Gen fighter will determine those hours. Chapter 13. Final Analysis. Falcon Zero's maneuver was not just a stunt. It was proof that air combat has entered a new evolutionary phase, no longer dominated by human limits, no longer predictable by enemy sensors, no longer constrained by physics as we once understood them. The 6th Gen Fighter represents a shift as monumental as the jet engine, stealth technology, or satellite warfare. It is a machine built to dominate future skies, to break rules, break assumptions, and, if necessary, break enemies. The world's air forces now face a new reality. The United States has built a fighter that doesn't just fly, it evolves.